Hello everyone, this is Rare Puncture, and we're back with Star Trek Online. We're going to be taking a look at the, the Krenum ship from the anniversary event. The anniversary event was the uh, where QU went and found all the particles and stabilized them. And you did that for, well you only had to do it for like 12 days and then you could get the ship because if you did the the featured episode you got 400 of the marks for it and we're dancing and we're dancing all right we're going to take a look at the inside of the Krenum ship Our science officer is going to do a little Vanna Whiting of it. So over here we're gonna we can contact our duty officers. And then over here is the library computer. Our engineer is just doing her thing. Our science officer is taking readings, many readings, rolling. Here we can look at our account bank, and here our tactical officer has our small craft. We'll take a seat. So it's, this is what the bridge looks like. It's a little small, but it's okay. But that's enough for the bridge. Now, we'll take a look at the outside. what it looks like don't know about you if you don't know of Babylon 5 the show it kind of looks like a Vorland ship one of their small shuttlecraft type ships That's what it kind of reminds me of, but but that's a different show. We'll take a look at what's on it. It is a science vessel, so it has only three forward weapons. The ship also came with the Kronom, uh Kronaton torpedo, which. Uh, has a chance to go through shields, 25% uh, chance to go through shields, which is kind of cool. It has the secondary deflector because it, of course, is a science vessel. It has the three aft weapons. There's three device slots. It has three engineering, five science, and three tactical consoles. The ship comes with the timeline stabilizer where it affects enemies, firing cycle, turn rate, speed, and it boosts your turn rate, fire cycle, and speed depending on how many enemies there are. We'll take a look at the tiers. There's enhanced particle generators for more exotic damage. There's advanced shield systems for more shield hit points. There's enhanced restorative circuitry where it increases hull healing and shield healing. 
There's reactive shield technology, which has a shield regen and also reduces damage to shields by 5%. And the starship trait is improved feedback pulse, where it increases feedback pulse damage and increases crit severity and crit chance. Take a look at our stats. There's the crew. There's our hit points, hull points, shield regen. Our resists. All the fun stuffs. As for maneuverability, since it is a shiny ship, it, it, it's more maneuverable than the cruisers, but less so than the escorts, but it isn't too bad. Now we'll take a look at the bridge officers. There's a Commander Tactical. No, not Commander Ta Commander Science. Lieutenant Commander Tactical. And then there's the Lieutenant Science. And then Lieutenant Engineering. And then there's a Lieutenant Universal. The Tactical Officer can also be Intel Officer, but... So you can get a nice variety of things going on with your ship. Now we'll take a look at the combat abilities. Here's the Crown Torpedo. Oh, we just shot way too many of them. My ship is also supporting the Polaron set that's from the featured episode. So there's that's what they kind of like light blue. That's the weapon, the weapon. Which the Crenum torpedo is part of that set. Now we'll take a look at the timeline stabilizer ability. kind of hard to tell whether, although it looks like they're slowing down and can't really turn it on. She allows us to unload. Crystal. Basically, we just park and and just keep on firing. That's most of our damage is all in the front. Going for the maximum torpedo. to say that the ship is actually pretty decent for for one of the free ones that you can get. I know my Klingon science officer likes it because there's not many Klingon science vessels. Basically it's just all about Gravity well and torpedoes here. Oh, 
but the polar onset also increases uh, there's a the set bonus you get a skill where it increases exotic damage and beam of weapon damage we can only get our beam weapon so much since we're going max auxiliary power We have to use our attack hand beam to use our other uh, other traits, so that's why we're using it. Although it's not really doing anything. We're we're kinda of taking a beating here. Because everyone else in our group died. Uh, oh, we're having some technical difficulties now. Something happened with the recording. There's there's nothing I could show you or anything like that. But going back overall, it's a it's a pretty decent free ship. The Kernum torpedo is not super great, but it you know it's funny when it goes through all the shields. It's, oh, oh, and we're back. We're back. If we didn't uh, blow up or anything like that. And we took third place. We'll, we'll get our fleet marks. Alright, well that was a look at the Krenum Anniversary Ship, the Krenum Science Vessel. If you like this, you can give us a like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys again. Goodbye.